Brought to you by GatewayCitySavers.com. This week we're talking Lindsay Lohan's failed drug test, the Dancing with the Stars season 11 premiere, and JWoww's spread and Playboy. That plus Slipknot's highly anticipated cover of Hollaback Girl. That will be good. Stargazing's coming right up, but first a moment to defend Katy Perry from all those haters who said she's sold out. Would a sellout do this? Come on, Elmo, don't you want to play? <laughs> Elmo! Hey kids, be sure to check out Miss Perry's hot single, I Kissed a Girl, brought to you by the letter B for bisexual. Let's go stargazing. Remember when Lindsay Lohan told a judge she wasn't making a mockery of the court system with her umpteenth probation violation? I'm not taking this as a joke. It's my life. That lasted nine weeks. By her own Twitter admission, Ms. Lohan has acknowledged that since her August 24th release from rehab, she's failed two drug tests. Lindsay is poised to once again face a judge who, according to TMZ, could slap the actress with a 60-day jail sentence, thanks to her penchant for booger sugar, meaning her actual time served could be as much as 17 minutes. Wow. Yeah. Then there's Paris Hilton, who's also dealing with the effects of drug charges. See, the Japanese were all set to welcome the blonde haired beauty into their country as she kicked off a promotional tour. Then someone over there logged on to TMZ and saw this. I was in possession as well as telling the officer that the bag wasn't mine in the purse. All right. Now, first of all, as to the possession, uh, what did you possess? Cooking. Well, as you may have heard, the Japanese tend to not take drug charges lightly, so Paris got no further than the Tokyo airport, where officials promptly issued her a one-way ticket back to the U.S. Think Botswana would take her? Next, let's talk JWoww, particularly her augmented body, which will soon be on display in Playboy. Radar Online is reporting Mr. Hefner has offered the Jersey Shore star 400 grand to shed her fabric for the nudie mag, a job she'd likely have done three years back for a Slim Jim and a pack of parliaments. Inflation. One kink in the deal could come a la MTV, which E! Online reports could contractually limit the amount of skin JWoww is allowed to show. It is, after all, a network defined by its morality. Punch me in the face. Oh, oh! See what I'm saying? Little tube talk. Perhaps you heard Dancing with the Stars season 11 kicked off this week to a stupefying 18.3 million viewers who came for Jennifer Grey's sublime Viennese waltz. I and stayed for the Hoffs' devastating week one elimination. On this premier week of competition, the couple with the lowest overall combined total, and therefore leaving right now, is... David and Kim. Oh, baby, you Mm, off to drown his sorrows in bathroom floor cheeseburgers. This is a mess. Now, as we all know, it's behind the curtain that the real action goes down, and reports say it's Bristol Palin and Michael Bolton rocking the boat. Perez Hilton is reporting Bristol has had numerous feuds with the show's wardrobe designers, while Mr. Bolton has an ego way too large for the past 10 years of his career to justify, and he needs to be knocked down to size. Might I suggest a screening of office space? Yeah, well, at least your name isn't Michael Bolton. You know, there's nothing wrong with that name. There was nothing wrong with it until I was about 12 years old and that no talent ass clown became famous and started winning Grammys. Truer words have been spoken not. Now get back to those TPS reports. While we discuss Kanye West, who's kissed and made up with Saturday Night Live, NBC announced Mr. West will appear on SNL's October 2nd show, effectively ending the feud he started with the cast when they laid into him following the Taylor Swift VMA debacle. No word yet on which tunes Kanye will perform, but going by his last appearance on the show, the bar isn't exactly set high. No more wasting time. We can't wait for life. We're just racing time. Should have gone the Ashley Simpson route.
Finally, Fox streamed a live press conference this week to announce to the world what the world already knows. J-Lo and Steven Tyler will join Randy Jackson on the judges panel for the next season of Idol. When asked of the changes, show creator Nigel Lithgow said it's time to resume the star making. We have got to go back to creating an American Idol. If that's what we're here to do, that's what we have to do. That's right, put the focus back on the contestants. J-Lo should have no trouble sharing the spotlight, right? Um. Let's visit the real world. <laughs> Feeling tough and need to be knocked down a notch? Michael Douglas has stage four throat cancer and he just starred in the movie that's predicted to slaughter at the box office. So what you got, Jack LaLanne? Anyway, Wall Street Money Never Sleeps has hit theaters. This sequel to the 1987 classic Wall Street reunites Mr. Douglas with director Oliver Stone. Michael stars as a fresh out of prison Gordon Gecko, who turns his future son-in-law into a protege and together the two just can't resist making the financial industry their biatch. It's not who you think he is, Jake. He'll hurt us. Why don't you start calling me Gordon? Well, all right then, and you can call me Al. Paul Simon reference check. Next, we have Legend of the Guardians, The Owls of Gahul. It's a movie about owls. So let's move on to you again. Starring Kristen Bell, yes please, as a young professional whose world winds up rock when she discovers her brother intends to marry her high school nemesis. And Betty White, of course, makes an appearance because that's what you do when you make a movie these days. Don't let the way those girls treated you bring you down. You got this. Nothing to be afraid of. I do like where this is going. Hugsies lead to hair snipsies, and if you've seen Where the Boys Aren't, part 17, you know the progression. On that note, we're finished for the week. Past episodes, though, are a mere click away at 1065thearch.com and wil92.com. Thank you, as always, for watching. I like where our relationship is headed. See you next time.